Hi and welcome to JFX Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to turn a normal photo into a painting but also how to save all the process into an action which will allow you to apply this effect to other photos without having to go through all the steps over again. So here we are in Photoshop with our photo loaded. First thing I want to talk about is uh, the actions. You have a small play button here on the sidebar. If you don't have it, make sure to go to Window and then click on Actions. What Actions uh, do, in fact, is record every step of the process you make. So you can just use this action for another picture and then you will end up with the same result. But you don't have to go through the whole process by yourself. It will just do it automatically. So it's a neat trick to, to save time. So let's um, make a new set here. Let's call it paint effect. Let's make a new action. Again painting effect double F. Okay and then we hit record and now you can see here like a small red record button and from now on everything I'm gonna do is gonna be recorded here so I'm just gonna close this tab here we don't need to see it it's gonna run in the background let's first let's duplicate this this original photo I always like to duplicate the original photo just to have a, a a start point to see uh, from where we started off and then where we ended. The first thing we, we want, you want to do is uh, go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. And what we're doing now is uh, reducing the amount of detail in the picture and also uh, making the colors a bit uh, blended together. We don't want too many colors. Just and then set the radius to no more than twenty pixels, and the threshold no more than fifteen. Hit OK. Let's call this um, surface blur. And then a new layer. Let's call it oil paint effect. And on this, on this layer, we're going to go to Filter, select the Oil Paint effect here. And here, we're going to set the stylization to around 3. The cleanliness the same, around 3. The scale doesn't really matter. You can set it to 0 or 10. It doesn't matter. The bristle detail again doesn't really matter, you can set it to zero and again the lightning doesn't really matter, just set both settings to to zero and hit OK. And you can see now we have like a smudge, smudged picture and really helps create that uh, oil painting effect. So next I'm gonna create a stamp layer, so basically I'm creating a a layer that contains all three layers below. The shortcut for this is Shift Control Alt E. And I'm gonna duplicate this. Go to Vivid Light, then Invert. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the radius to 3 or 3.5 pixels. Hit OK. We're going to create a new stamp layer again above this and delete the previous because we don't need it anymore. Desaturate this layer because we don't need the colors inside. And soon you will see the result. So, what we did with this whole shenanigan is 
uh, added a bit of um, contour on the edges and also brought a bit of detail in the in the picture again but I think we need more so we're just gonna duplicate this layer for about four more times so one two three yeah three is enough we're gonna group these layers Ctrl G and name it details and of course you can using the opacity slider you can adjust how much detail you want I'm satisfied with this 50% and the last part of this process is I think optional but I think it gives a nice uh, overall effect I will add a color lookup adjustment layer I'm gonna select the film stock effect set the blending mode to about 55 and set the blending mode to overlay maybe just 40 yeah and there you have it the painting the oil painting effect you can go now to the actions tab again and see all the steps are recorded here you can stop recording now by setting the stop button and actually let's delete this um, set current layer steps because we don't really need them okay let's see a before and after before a real photo and then after a kind of oil effect look alike so let's say now we, that you want to to save this action here and use it for another picture let's select it then go to the right corner here and click save actions give it a name I select I already had paint effect and then save it and let's delete this from here delete selection yes I'm gonna go to Google I already searched for an image another image copy Photoshop again file new Photoshop already knows the size of the image you copy to the clipboard so just hit OK and then Ctrl V paste the picture in and let's say you don't have the actions loaded yet go again to the right corner here and load actions paint effect load and then go to this action here and make sure to be on the on the picture layer not on the background because then it won't work and then now we're just gonna click the play button and let Photoshop do its thing so in a matter of seconds you had a photo turned to a painting and I think it really um, it's a really useful trick in order to, to save time. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If so, make sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. I will make sure to post new videos soon, so stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.